My mom is a spitfire. Okay, here's the friggin' elephant in this room. She's like a cross between Zsa Zsa Gabor and Lucille Ball. We're going up to the champagne room. If you can ride, why walk? The viewers still can't stop talking about Lydia. Well, she's back today, but for a very different reason. I'm champagne glamour. Somebody needs to start popping that cork. My sweetheart passed away a little over two months ago. This is me and Roy before he died. He says, if a man's lucky enough to come along and find you, you have enough love in you for another man to enter that. So now, Dr. Phil, I really want you to be my matchmaker. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm so glad you're back. It's good to see you. You look oh, great. You. So sorry to hear that your husband has passed. I do miss him. But I'm ready to go. I took Glamo's directives very seriously and found her three wealthy, eligible bachelors and have already sent her on separate dates with them. I'm very excited to meet Bernie. It was so nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. You weren't told to dress formally, I understand. I <laughs> rarely dress formally. Hi, Lydia. I'm Fred. Nice to meet you. If you kiss underneath the bridge, it's supposed to bring you good luck. I'm really excited to meet Noel. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous car. When I get up in the morning, I will take a glass of champagne. Champagne? Uh, uh, that's why they call me Champagne Glamour. Bernie, Fred, Noel are all here. If you're going to pick someone that you want to go on your next date with, who would that be? Something special happened with all three of them, but I think that the person that I would want to have my next date with would be Fred. So, Champagne Glamour is back. Honey, Champagne Glamour knows how to get down and dirty, but I do it with such class. Coming down for cocktails, Champagne Glamour's glass is almost empty. Yay, now I'm happy. So Dr. Phil, I want to thank you so much for changing the direction of my life. I wouldn't be Champagne Glamour today if it wasn't for all the things that you have done to encourage me to take risks, to live life fabulously. How many women out there in the world do you think that are 80 that dated three fantastic men and had a fabulous experience? I'm still single and look at me, I'm fabulous. At 81, I'm still good looking and I have a great purpose to my life to help foster children as they age out of the program. So thank you for giving me the ability to take risks again. Cheers. Hey. Listen, thank you, Lydia. I mean, you live it right till the end, right? I mean, drop dead with a smile on your face, whether it's 80, 90, 100, whatever. She is something else. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.